So, yes, I'm back to playing Rust. Now, what happened after the RP town or city? Which a lot of people are asking me why I stopped playing Rust. So, after the RP city slash town that I made on Rust on the Alliance game servers, um, when Purge Day happened, uh, well, we all know what Purge Day does. <laughs> or for, for Rust related stuff, but. You get the idea. Uh, I went looking around to see who was defending their base, and I'm like, I stumbled upon a group known as NUT. Quite literally. There's a group on the Rust servers that goes by the clan name. It's more of a group, but the clan name is NUT. Capital N, lowercase U and T. And I came across this group, and they're trying to defend three people against eight people that are trying to raid their base. And I'm looking, watching from a power line with someone else, and they're like, holy crap. And they had landmines in their base and fog machines going, and I'm like, you know what, I want to be part of that next wipe to make it even more interesting for the people that are trying to raid the base to go through hell and back again, trying to avoid all the landmines in the base. You, you kind of get the idea. But uh, anyways... So, I asked if I could join this group known as NUT. Literally. And the person that has the most pull with the group invited me into their group. And for one wipe, they have to get to know me. And what I was learning from the group is they're not very active. That will be the only real bad thing I have to say about the group known as NUT. Is it quite literally, it's not very active. Like on wipe day, right when the servers restart and it's a new wipe, literally they're active just to get the base up. But give it like two or three days and then they only see one person on trying to maintain this big base. So during my second wipe, with them before they gave me base codes, I got to witness their base decay because no one was on to maintain it. And I'm like, hey, your base wouldn't have decayed if I was part of your group and I set up my conveyor system where it automatically fills the tool cabinets to make sure stuff doesn't decay. Also, because I was, at the time I was the most active out of the group. All right. So wipe three comes along and I finally get base codes. And I set up my conveyor system to make sure all the tool cabinets receive the supplies and it's going well. Uh, and what I witnessed the group doing, they would take the convoys or occasionally take the helicopter down or occasionally do, they do harbor a lot for harbor events in the server. And occasionally they'll take cargo and things like that. Occasionally run the excavator and things like that, but they don't really go into many of the monuments. So, wipe, I think it was wipe 4 happened. It was either wipe 4 or 5 happened, where we're on this igloo map, which is a very custom map. It has like snowflakes on the map that the mountains are made out of. And then you have these domes that you can build in. Alright. And this is the last time I saw this group at the time. Alright. So, Diablo 4 came out at some point, the group went inactive, they started to become active again when they got bored of Diablo 4, and I believe we're on this frozen wasteland map where we're building inside of a dome, and they're trying to fit their big base inside of this little tiny space. Alright. So, sitting here... And I noticed that most of the group goes inactive again. And it made no real common sense to continue playing Rust at this point as a group, with the group, or bringing resources when they're not even on at the same time as you. You kind of see the problem here is you would have one person get on in the morning that occasionally farm or just go and do the harbor events nonstop, which and there's nothing really wrong with it. The point is, as a group, you're supposed to be working together. And, well, they just weren't on all... They were not on all the time, is my point here. The point here is, they weren't online at the same time as everyone. So, you know, 
for me, as a group, you should have four people on if there's four part four people part of your group. One's on in the morning, one's on in the afternoon, and one has normal timing. There should be at least three people in line at any given time. I get it. You're on a player versus environment server or a role play server, but still, you got to be active. All right. So there's one person in the group that wants to do firework shows, but never gets around to actually doing the firework shows. I brought them like two or three boxes over, and birthday comes along. And all that work to get all that sulfur to turn into fireworks just gone. And at this point, I'm starting to get pissed. All right. So the group goes inactive again. And they say in the Discord server that they're not going to be active. This is basically what happened with Nut, the clan slash group. Um, why I'm no longer with them. So I say in the chat, hey, send me a ping. When your guys are going to go back to playing Rust. And I've been waiting ever since. I looked in the my Discord servers of which servers I'm part of regarding Rust a couple days ago. Apparently I'm no longer in the Nut Discord server. Otherwise being I either was kicked from the server or banned from the server. I don't actually know. I know the person that allowed me to join the group has unfriended me on Discord. And I tried messaging them and got no reply when it the discord's like oh i'm sorry you're not friends with this person so you can't send them a message i'm like really so i don't know what's going on i'm gonna say I guess maybe they watch one of my youtube videos they didn't like what i said i don't know but yeah that's pretty much what's going on i'm getting back into playing russ on top of playing starfield and cyberpunk uh, Phantom Liberty DLC. I have a lot of leveling up to do in that game just to do the second storyline. Like, holy crap, and I still have to play the game again from scratch. I still got to finish the Fallout 4 series. And I just wanted to answer the question that everyone's been asking. Uh, why did you stop playing Rust after your RP City South Town? Well, I was trying to look for a good group to join so that if I was to do another RP Town, we could make it a lot bigger. Bigger than the last one. <laughs> I know the mere just me saying that people go look up the previous Rust videos of me making an RP town and go it's for three grids it's not big enough for you no nope not at all I drive the next project I want to build the RP city and the ocean <laughs> you look at me what yeah we'll just build it along the cargo route uh, cargo ship row. We'll build it on both sides. This way you see a cargo ship just drive right through the town. <laughs> you look at me, what the hell, man? Oh, come on, it'd be cool. It'd be expensive, but cool. <laughs> but that requires a lot of people to help out build that, so... I don't know. Um, perks from joining the nut group were they learnt, taught me about planters if you put too much water in the planter it causes the plant to grow slower if it doesn't have enough heat then it grows slower so anyways that should answer your question of why i stopped playing rust for a little bit i asked the group to send me a ping they never sent me a ping uh, i was removed from the nut clan or groups Discord server. I'm just going to consider them a group at this point. They're not really a clan. It only consists of four people. So technically speaking, it's a group. Uh, for clans to be considered a clan, it has to have like five or six people in it. So you kind of see what's going on there. Um, but yeah, I'm going to do a crap ton of farming. I'm setting up my shops again. Trying to get back into playing Rust this way. I'm not getting burnt out in other games. I just want to give you guys kind of a heads up. Of what's been going on with me. Uh, VR chat broke a bunch of maps. So I've been tied up with my time fixing those. Thank you VR chat. That was so helpful. No, not, not, not really. Yeah. It's like. Uh... 
Um, but yeah, I, I do plan to get back into playing more games here. Oh, anyways, make sure you hit the like button, make sure you subscribe button. I just want to give you guys a quick update what happened there. And thank you guys for supporting the channel. I know, you guys want to see me play Rust. Well, you got to see a little bit of what I'm working on. <laughs> Anyways, I'll see you guys again soon.